In this video, I'm going to talk about while loops in C. So while loops are one of a few kinds of loops we have in C. And a loop is a control structure that allows us to repeat a set of statements over and over again. So here's a, a typical loop in terms of what it looks like, a typical while loop. We're going to say int i is equal to 0. Then we're going to say while i is less than 5. We'll print out i. We'll say i colon percent d slash n. And we'll print out i. Then we'll increment i by 1. That's what i plus plus does. And then down here, I'm going to say print f, and I'm going to say loop is over, exclamation mark. So this is like a, a basic standard loop here, where what, we're, what we've got here is we've got i set to 0. That's an integer variable set to 0. And this is what we call a counter variable or sometimes a loop variable. And typically when we're working with loops, we have some kind of variable that's keeping track of maybe how many times we've gone through the loop or some other thing we want to keep track of to signify that the loop is going to be completed at a certain point. This here is the actual while loop. And this here, this condition, what's going on here is we check if this condition is true. If this condition is true, then the loop body, what's, what's between these squiggly brackets here, is going to execute one statement at a time as usual. So you'd have this execute, then this execute. Then what would happen is, because it's a loop, these instructions, these statements here, would repeat over and over until this condition is no longer true. So, you know, if, if this condition here is true, then we would enter the loop body, run this statement, run this statement. Then what happens is execution goes up here again, and we check the condition again. If it's true, we run this statement and this statement. And again, we'd go up here, we'd check if, the state, we'd check if this condition is true. If it is true, we keep executing. Only when it's not true, only when this condition is no longer true, would we go down here in terms of execution, when, would the control flow go down here and execute this statement here. So if we run this loop here, we'll say gcc o demo demo.c, and we'll run it here. I get i0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then loop is over. So this actually makes sense if you look at what we've got here, because we start off with i being 0, we check if i is less than 5. It is, because 0 is less than 5. We print out that i is 0. Then we increment i by 1, so we have that i is 1 now. And the next time we'd go up here and we check, is 1 less than 5? Yes, it is. We print out i1, we'd increment it to 2, and we check this again. And this would keep on going until when i is 4, because when i is 4, we'd print out i is 4, then we'd increment i by 1, i would be 5, and then we'd check. Is 5 less than 5? It no longer is at that point. And that's when execution would then jump down here, and we'd print f that the loop is over, and any other statements after this would also run as well, just keep going in, in terms of our usual execution of a C program. And that's really a, a basic while loop example there. Now, what can happen sometimes with a loop, depending on the way we've programmed it, uh, maybe this is a bug, Sometimes what can happen is we actually just never enter the while loop body at all. So for example, what if I set i to 5 at the start? So I say i is equal to 5, and now I'm checking here. Is i less than 5? Well, it never is. It's, it's never going to be less than 5 because we started off at 5. So if we run this, we'll compile this, and we'll run this. All we get here is loop is over. We never enter the loop body at all because this condition is never true. So that's one thing that can happen with a loop. It's possible that we just never run the code in here, and that's okay. There's another kind of loop called a do while loop, where it's actually guaranteed to run the loop body at least once. But with a while loop, it's not guaranteed. This condition has to be true for us to enter the loop body. Another thing that can happen with a loop is if we actually have some condition that will always be true, for some reason, it's just always true, then our loop may never actually terminate. And if our loop never terminates, we can have what's called an infinite loop. So I'll show you that. Let's say I set i to zero here, and let's say I forget to increment i, or maybe I actually make a mistake and I put in i minus minus instead. If I do this, i is never gonna be greater than or equal to five. i is always gonna be less than five. So what's going to happen is this loop will just keep going and going. So let's just try, try to run this. And this could be interesting. My, my, my computer won't blow up, but my, my terminal over here is probably going to be filled with stuff. So let's try this. 
And yeah, you can see, look at it. It, it might eventually crash, but, uh, but that's what's called an infinite loop because it's a loop that's never going to stop because this condition is never false. Now, infinite loops, oftentimes they're a bug. Oftentimes that is something that we'd want to avoid because it's, it's you know, very rare that we want a loop to run forever. Um, there are some cases though where maybe a loop could potentially run for an indefinite amount of time. So for example, if we told the user like enter five to quit and we check if the user has entered five, well, if the user just never enters five, they would just never quit. So let's actually try to implement that. We're gonna say to the user, enter five to quit. And then we'll use a scanf, and this will actually you know, accept some user input, and we're gonna store whatever the user inputs into the variable i. And what we'll do is we're gonna change our condition here. We're gonna check if i is ever equal to five now. So uh, while i doesn't equal five, we'd want to keep asking the user to enter five to quit. And so what we've got here is a situation where this loop is indefinite. As long as the user keeps on entering things that aren't five, this loop is going to keep going and going. So we'll, we'll run this one here. We'll say, I'll just hit up, run demo here. So enter five to quit. I'll say eight, 10, 11, negative one. So we can keep on entering things, right? And if I put in five, that's when it quits. And so this loop here isn't quite an infinite loop, but it is an indefinite loop in the sense that the user has to enter a certain thing, a certain thing has to occur for the loop to actually terminate. So anyways, this has been a few examples of using a while loop in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.